Hello, I'm Rick McGee, and I'm the Associate Dean for Professional Development at Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine. So before we jump into the details about ways to transition into and navigate a new postdoc position, we want to spend just a few minutes talking about and thinking about some well-established social science theories and models that can help you actually explain what's going on with groups work together, particularly in research training environments. So think for a minute about the environments that have shaped you, particularly as a scientist. Which ones have been most important? Some of these may be a while back, some of them may be more recent. But focus on those you feel had the most impact on shaping you as a scientist. Share some of these in the space provided. Now, think about if any of these environments were particularly welcoming. One where you felt like, wow, this is a great place to be. I'm learning a lot. By contrast, were any of them that were not inviting, where you felt like you were being watched or judged constantly and had to continually prove yourself. In other words, think about how you learned how to act in research settings. How did you figure it out along the way? Answer these questions for the environments you listed above. 